for us. Christopher Gators, Minneapolis Police Department Assistant Chief, G-A-I-T-E-R-S. At this point today, uh, we don't have a lot of information to give you, but we, what we do want to do is uh, give you the information we do have and can talk about. Uh, today, our officers around 12.45 p.m. responded to a 911 call. Uh, the 911 call was regarding a three-year-old who had been shot. Uh, when our officers did respond to the 2300 block of Jefferson Street Northeast, uh, they found that a three-year-old had indeed been shot. They uh, rendered medical aid along with other emergency medical personnel, and the three-year-old was transported to the hospital where, unfortunately, the three-year-old died. Uh, we are currently investigating uh, this situation and uh, learning more as we go, but please understand that the investigation is very new it's, uh, and there isn't a lot that has uh, been obtained so far, but our investigators are on scene and working diligently to make certain that we find out what is actually taking place. Uh, I want you to keep in mind that please understand that with compassion we are investigating this case. We are working, as I said, diligently to find out what happened to this child. Uh, currently, not a ton of information, but what we do know is that a child uh, is deceased and uh, we're looking for witnesses, any help from the public with any information and uh, any information that would be beneficial to the case. Uh, in short, that's what we have at this time. Unless you have any other questions. Can you talk about the circumstances that might have led to this child being shot? Was this an accidental shooting? Did the child shoot himself? We are currently trying to figure out if a crime has been committed uh, or if it's an accidental incident that was taken place. We are, as we continue to investigate, we are looking for any indicators uh, of how exactly uh, this incident took place in the loss of a child's life. Uh, but at this time, we don't have any solid answers, and we hope to find that out as we continue the investigation. Where was the 911 call from? Was it from a neighbor, a family member, of the, or a relative of the funeral? This 911 call, our understanding is from someone, an adult who was with the child. Would you mind repeating, just because the, the chaos with the bus coming by, you're looking into seeing if this was an accidental shooting. Do you know where the gun came from, who the gun belonged to, how Correct. the child... If, did the child have the gun? We're looking in the investigation, we're looking to see if this was an accident or if it was uh, purposefully done. Uh, we, at this time, do not know that. We are trying to figure that out, and our investigators are working very hard to try to figure out how exactly this all came to fruition. Do you have reason to believe that the child might have shot himself? At this point, we don't have any reason to believe one way or the other. Um, we're waiting for the investigators to let us know after speaking with individuals and, and figuring out what's inside the crime scene and how things actually uh, came, came about during the uh, incident. Did this happen inside an apartment unit here? Was it outside in the general area? Where was this location? It was inside a residence. How many shots type of gun? At this point, uh, it is unclear how many shots were fired and what type of gun. Um, we are still waiting to see what the investigators have found out about the, uh, the initial investigation, and we'll know that uh, within a reasonable time. And is this the child's primary place of residence? At this point, we don't know if it's the primary residence of the child. Has anybody been taken into custody? At this point, no one is under arrest. Uh, we are investigating and trying to figure out exactly what has taken place and why it took place. Uh, I will say this, that we, uh, as a police department, will stand along by the family. This is a very serious incident. You're talking about the life being lost of a three-year-old child. A child has, has lost uh, their life today. And what we're going to do is we're going to work with the public. We're going to work with the family. Uh, it's a very difficult time. But as we do that, we want to make certain that we are um, making sure that we're getting all of the information and, and putting into the case and, and evaluating it and vetting the information to make certain that we find out exactly what is taking place. Are you looking actively for suspects? At this, this time, it's, it's very early, obviously, we want to know what has taken place, whether or not a person is, a, you know, someone who happened to be there, or if the person is a, 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 intentionally has done something or not, we'll let the investigation uh, tell us what. Exactly what 
Is there a parent? Call come in though, officer. I mean, they must have said something. Either my child's been shot. Or yeah, from what I know, yeah. what I know at this point is a 911 call came in, and as the 911 call came in, it was that a child had been shot, and the officers responded along with uh, EMS personnel and rendered aid, and that child was taken to the hospital and unfortunately had died. Was the child at home with a parent or guardian at the time? Oh, we know at this point is the the child was home and there was an adult present, and uh, that's what we know at this point. Any other kids present too in that scene? I don't have that information at this time. One more question. Is this a little boy or is it a, a, a young boy? Uh, gender is male. Yep. All right. Thank you, everybody. We will uh, send out a release with.